Hey guys, this is Joy back again with another video. So I just wanted to get right into it. So today's video is going to be called The Narcissist Ghosting and Dumping. Um, and just real quick, I did want to let you guys know that I am having my discount on my coaching sessions. So it's 50% off right now. So if you want to get it started, email me at livenarkfree9 at gmail.com. You must have a PayPal, WhatsApp, or um, Facebook, or Skype. And then we can get it set up. So I just want to let you guys know that. And that's going on until the 26th of this month. So please be sure that you get that in. So quickly here are the video. So this is going to be just some tips on like what will happen during the, the dumping and the ghosting. So basically they will stop contacting you as much. They won't um, give you that much attention. Um, you know, they'll like stand you up. They won't call you or text you as much um, you won't be um, their priority anymore um, and you will feel it um, I know with me personally like it was tough because I was thinking like okay well what did I do and why is this person like not contacting me as much and even just a regular dude will do that anyway like maybe if they have other options or they're not really ready for a relationship or they just don't want to be bothered you know but a narcissist they're very calculated with it um and they'll ghost you at a really important time let's say like maybe a birthday or anniversary or when you're planning a special event like they'll ghost you just to get a reaction just to get that narcissistic supply to make you feel like crap you know and then um they'll cancel plans on you know on purpose and I know the the second guy that I was dating, I remember we made a plan to hang out um, during that day, like earlier during the day. And then I remember like I was confirming with him and he was like, oh, well, I have something else that I had to do. Or I remember he was starting to hang out with someone else more than me. And I was thinking like, well, what's going on? You know, and that's kind of like their process of slowly they're ghosting you and then they're dumping you slowly but surely and the thing is if you're lucky enough to dump them first um they'll try to come back to you because they want to dump you before you can dump them so if you already caught on to them and you see like they're phony then just go ahead and block them don't even contact them because they're if they if they've seen that you are done with them then they're going to try to get you back just so they can dump you and hurt you you know so um just be aware and then let's see here and also um, the ghosting they do it because it's also another a tactic so they can control you um, you know because you're thinking like okay everything's going well in a relationship th things are moving forward um, whatever and then out of nowhere they just ghost so it's just another way of getting control over you abusing you giving you the silent treatment and I'll make a video about that um, so yeah, but it's a process. Like they're devaluing, they're devaluing you. Then um, they disappear for a while. You don't know where they go because, you know, they're coming in and out of your life. And again, an average Jew can do that. But the way that the narcissist does it is very calculated. It's very cruel. Um, it's very evil, actually. Um, something that's on purpose because maybe like an average Jew, maybe something could have came up or whatever and I'm not giving the the average person a, an excuse but I'm saying like narcissists they are a different type of creature so um <laughs> so yeah and then um and the reason why they would discuss the reason why they would ghost you is let's say you caught on to their lies you see that they may have someone else on the side they're probably cheating they're probably stealing um, their words and their actions aren't like adding up and you're like hey I'm done like I don't want to talk to you anymore that another that's another reason why they, they would um, ghost you or dump you because the second narcissist well actually I felt like both of them probably did dump me or for sure the second one did because the first one I found out that he was in a relationship with a girl and then he tried to contact me to come over and I said no and then that's when he started posting pictures but then the second guy he was I thought his was a little bit more sloppy like he was still talking to me but he wasn't contacting me as much and I could, should have probably saw that as a red flag because normally he would be like calling me like every day and then it's kind of slowed down to like every other day or every three days every four days and in that time he was like talking to that girl so that's kind of like him ghosting me, but he was still trying to like kind of keep string me along. That's another thing that they'll do when the ghosting. Um, 
but yeah so eventually I ended up seeing on his Instagram that he was with someone else and I was just so hurt but then at the same time I realized like he wasn't really being that nice to me so I was just kind of like whatever about it and then um so yeah that's like the ghosting and then um or the the phase of the dumping because they do it in a calculated way so that way you really can't get back up like so that way you'll think about them you like you'll want them to come back to try to figure out like why did they do this and you know how can you fix it because the thing is once they do ghost you or they dump you you won't hear from a, them in a while and they won't give you any explanations no reasoning you'll just have to just kind of keep you in your mind you're probably thinking like well what did I do wrong but it, it wasn't anything that you did again it's probably you just saw who they really are you know you saw the monster for the, as they are the um, evil person that they're being and then um let's see so yeah that that's basically the video um like I said definitely look out for the ghosting um, understand that if somebody is ghosting you, they're not really taking you that serious. Like if somebody wants to be with you, they'll be with you. They'll commit. Um, and yeah, that's just it. Like you, there's no need to like play games or play mind games or anything like that. And then, um, yeah, be with people that treat you good. Like don't accept any disrespect or anything less than what you deserve. And I'm telling that to myself because like I said, I was dealing with someone that, um, he wasn't a narcissist, but he was just, I, I don't know if he really knows what he wants, or maybe he does, or he's just like kind of insecure, immature, I don't know, but I definitely let that go, and like I said, the only way I would talk to him again is if he changes, and if not, then, you know, find something better, but anyway, you guys, thank you for tuning in, um, you guys mean the world, thank you so much for always watching me, thank you uh, for leaving comments. And again, if you guys want to do a coaching session, email me at livenarkfree9 at gmail.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And also be sure that you guys are following me on Instagram at livenarkfree. All right. I'll see you guys. Bye.